You know, I've received a medal for my ingenuity in finding a use for you cons. But just remember, if you disobey orders, there's a special place in solitary confinement for you. Your so-called right to complain was forfeited the moment you chose to break the law. Okay then, go make yourselves useful. An Ocean Air Force squadron is currently entering Arusian territory for reconnaissance. Due to certain factors, their return route has been changed. The new return route will be through Yinshi Valley, a scenic and rocky karst area. The enemy's radar facilities and anti-aircraft weapons hidden on the mountainside pose a serious threat. Your mission is to destroy them and get our guys out in one piece, even if it puts your own lives in danger. And it is important to remember, they will send up interceptors if you're detected. So you will need to choose something useful in a dogfight. The weather won't be on your side, but you're doing this whether you like it or not. Worry about the squadron's return route, not your own. Your mission is to get them back safely, which I think is the perfect punishment for your crimes. Operations complete. You're clear to taxi. Spare Squadron, this mission needs to be quick. Target radar facilities and AA weaponry. They're set up on a rugged terrain, and there's a lot of cloud cover. You will be near thunderclouds. Man, you guys were born unlucky. Wait, who's the dumbass who came up with this batshit plan? Just obey orders. Air Force Base 444 four, four Squadron, this is Cyclops 1. The Cyclops and Strider Squadrons currently contain seven aircraft. Stand by. We'll be arriving shortly. Understood. Fire! They have nowhere to run! We're low on ammunition. It'll be hard to take on hostiles. We'll have to rely on you guys to make it home. Cyclops 1, this is Bandog. We get the job done on time. Bandog? Cool name. That's nice working with you, Mr. Guard Dog. The terrain makes the airstream bumpy. Don't damage those planes. Destruction of target facility is confirmed. Are you 
telling us we have to dodge lightning? Fox 2, Fox 2. Fox 2. Spare 15, target destroyed. Wiseman 444 
Our squadron sent more income. Sorry, but I'm using this chance to break off. Jaeger, look after the survivors. Roger, man. Cyclops 4, last one behind you! Cyclops 2, watch your 6!
has his one spare 15. Forget about the rest.
alive somehow. Trigger, kindness gets you killed. Hey, God dog. Who's the guy who worked his ass off at the rear? <laughs> the biggest dumbass in the unit. Makes sense. Only an idiot would be brave enough to pull off those moves. I'll guide you back to Air Force Base 444, though I doubt you have enough gas to make it. Appreciate the help. Will you be at the base? I wouldn't get involved if I were you. Runway is clear. You have permission to land. You made it this far. Don't screw up now. Two miles to go. Too fast. Lower your airspeed. One mile to go. Lower your nose. You're too high. You're past the guidance limit. Make a visual landing. Great work. Nice job in not ruining a good plane. Your work's still far from done. Stand by for further orders. The crew said the enemy had one mean son of a bitch flying for him. Our team had a few Air Force hot dogs, real experienced pilots. But this guy swooped in like a hawk, locked on, and took them all out in the blink of an eye. Reminds me of a story Gramps told me once. He said a little while before he retired from active duty, he saw an enemy fighter wipe out an entire formation right in front of him. It was like seeing how a shark works when it's going after its dinner. This enemy pilot stalked Gramps' pals from below, just like how a shark would. Then one by one, he put the bite on them. Sounds like what happened to our guys today. Kinda surprised so many made it back alive. I bet when they saw what was going on, they broke formation and left their buddies to the shark. Hang on. There's three extra planes here. They're foreigners too. Spare Squadron, this mission... You returned without permission and failed as escorts. So how about you rethink your value while in solitary? Take them away. Well, well, what do you know? Pilots made it back to base alive. Treat them well and feed them plenty. After all, we have to get a favorable report out of them. I've spent enough of my time being the commander of some worthless penal unit. to talk to one of the pilots that escaped back here, so I took it. Apparently, two of our planes took the enemy on alone. They covered the Allies so they could retreat. The hell kind of idiot does a thing like that? The last pilot to land back at the base was that scrawny anarchist dude. He always had this dumb grin on his face. Like he didn't give a damn about whatever he did to get thrown in here with the rest of us. Was he the one who went gung-ho? I bought him a drink later. After the usual small talk, I turned the topic around to the mission. For an anarchist, he struck me as a bit weird. Nothing like what I expected. He talked a mile a minute and kept going on and on about library books. Not encyclopedias, those cheesy adventure novels you read in high school. Nothing against those. I like a good story myself once in a while. But I wasn't here to talk books. Uh, I remember that day well. Amidst the swirling clouds, a fighter squadron was trying to help its allies reach safety. He's pretty foolish, isn't he? I thought so too. Suddenly, a highly skilled enemy fighter squadron appeared and began peeking. 
picking them off at the edges. One by one, they fell right out of the sky. Although, I guess there was nobody around that was even more foolish to go to their aid then. So you simply watch things unfold from a distance. Yeah. I mean, who would have ever thought that I'd just go and follow them straight into the enemy squadron like that? After what felt like decades, I finally got to the info I was looking for. He wasn't the guy. He said he was just following his wingman's lead and managed not to die somehow. The hero on this mission was the new guy. The one that killed Harling. <laughs> How did you feel? I'm still kind of shaken up, actually. But you know, I do feel a certain sense of pride, too. He really is foolish, isn't he? Yep, he sure is. I went to the hangar to have myself a closer look at Trigger's plane. I knew that burnt smell. That's what happens when an engine's been driven to its limit. This pilot was a hot dog. From now on, I was gonna keep my eye on this idiot. From a distance, though. I didn't want to get too tight with someone who was a better pilot than my dad. Even so, I decided to give this guy's plane a little bit of the old Avril magic touch. He needed all the help he could get.